Hello, my name is Owen and I'm from Ireland. 안녕하세요. 이탈리아에서 온 아리라고 합니다. Hey guys, I'm Vaughn and I'm from the USA. 안녕하세요. 너로 은근 좀 하자라고 하는데 잘 부탁드립니다. Hello guys, my name is Andreas. I'm from Brazil and I'm 22 years old. 안녕하세요. 우즈베키스탄에서 온 산니입니다. Hi, I'm Alexander and I'm from France. 안녕하세요. 이란에서 온 니우샤라고 합니다. 혹시 마야 보셨나요? 안 해봤습니다. <웃음> no. 아니요. 절대. 아, 아니요. 전혀. 아니요. 안 했습니다. 혹시 주변에서 응. 마야 찾는 걸본 적이 있어요? 이탈리아 친구들이 대마초 정도? Oh yeah, a lot of people do drugs in the USA. 네, 있어요. Yes, and between us, I saw on my high school, like in front of school, like weed. 제 주변에서는 아, 본 적이 없는데. 음, mm. yeah, I have. 아니요 없어요. Yeah, I've been to like a lot of different countries and partying and clubs and stuff. So I've seen drugs being taken before. I would say it's pretty easy. It's not legal, but it's easy to get it. 한국보다 훨씬 더 쉽다고 봅니다. Yeah. 아니요 마약을 접하면은 바로 감옥을 갑니다. If you want to get drugs, you can get drugs. It's pretty easy, even if it's not legal. 학생들이 편법을 잘 찾아더라고요. 한국에 비해서 조금 쉬운 것 같아요. Uh, I think it's not difficult. Like if you want to find something, I think you, you have to know the right people maybe and I think it's quite easy to get. If I'm not mistaken, we have like some kind of like milligrams that if you just do for yourself, you can pay like a fine or stay like some months in jail and you're free to go. However, if you have like too much, you go to jail. 벌금을 내거나 감옥을 네, 가는 편인 것 같습니다. In France, it's very different. If you use drugs, you are not committing a crime. It's illegal and if the police finds out that you are using drugs, they will take the drugs away and you might get a fine. If you own drugs, if it's more than a certain amount, it's like a high penalty. If it's like a small amount, it's a low penalty, I think. Basically, if you have enough to sell, then big penalty. If you sell drugs, this is a crime. 무슨 마약에 따라 다른데 대마초 정도면은 벌금 그리고 뭐 맥시멈 1년 감옥에 제가 알기로는 파는 거 진짜 세요. It depends on the type of drug. So some are considered like lower class and some are higher class. So you can spend a long time in jail or have to go to a rehab or something. But if you're selling them, I think that you depending on the state, I think you can get a higher sentence because you're distributing drugs to other people. Being a user or a seller, like, it's different. How do you think about the legalization of drugs? I don't know, like, my father is a policeman, so I'm really against drugs, so I would say no. But I understand, like, that sometimes the marijuana can be good for people with, like, kind of, like, mental health problems. It's good for them. I agree. For me personally, I think it depends what drug we're talking about. There's a lot of countries like the States or Netherlands and other countries in Europe that have legalized marijuana. And France is a country that is considering uh, legalizing marijuana uh, initially for health benefits, so uh, calming cancer, pain for people who are in high pain. And I think CBD is already legal uh, for marijuana itself it's still in discussion it has been for years i think it's worth talking about because i think it it's been used in a few countries and shown positive benefits from it so i think it's a worthwhile conversation to have and it could actually make it safer for people and it could help a lot of people who become addicted as well so there's less shame in drug taking for marijuana, I think marijuana should be legal. I think it has a lot of like health benefits and healing properties. A lot of the reasons that marijuana is illegal is because the US government knows that if they make marijuana legal, people will stop smoking tobacco, which means the government loses money. This was Alexander and we just talked about drugs. See ya.